Can you make 30 YouTube shorts in 24 hours using AI? In this video, I'm going to make four different styles of vertical video using ChatGPT and Veed.io to do most of the work, starting by repurposing a video that already exists. I'm going to use this Elon Musk interview as an example, which is two hours long. And instead of sitting down and listening through the whole thing to try and find some interesting sections, I'm going to get ChatGPT to do that job for me. What are some highlights from the Joe Rogan interview with Elon Musk? So there you go. Within seconds, ChatGPT has given us a list of five different highlights from this interview. And right at the top there, you've got Elon Musk's views on AI and its potential dangers. And this sounds perfect for a YouTube short. But the main problem is that ChatGPT hasn't told us when this is actually said within the interview. So what I'm going to do is copy the link from the podcast video on YouTube, go to a website called youtubetranscript.com, and I'll just paste the link to the video into that box, hit go. And as you can see, that has now transcribed the entire two hour podcast into text. And when you have text on a web page, we can search through it. On Chrome, hit Command F to open up the search function and just type in AI. And that's now highlighted every time that AI is mentioned in the interview. And on youtubetranscript.com, when you click on a line over on the right hand side, it actually takes you to that point within the video itself. So when I found a section that I want to use, I now have a timestamp for where that starts in the longer video. So now we need to turn this section into a YouTube short using v.io. Select create your first video, upload a file, choose the downloaded podcast from your computer and that will then be added into the timeline. Now I already know that the section that I want to use is 51 minutes through the video. So all I'm going to do is move my playhead to that exact point in the timeline. And when I found it, I'm going to hit split. And we can now just delete that first chunk of video right away. And I'm just going to move my clip along the timeline to the front. And now I'm going to place my cursor to where I want my clip to end and just do exactly the same thing when I found it, hit split and delete the rest of it. So there it is. That's our clip. Now, Elon Musk actually talks quite slowly throughout this interview, taking a lot of pauses as he speaks. But luckily, there's a feature within Veed called the automatic silence remover. Select your clip, find the remover in the left hand menu. And in just one click, it's removed any pauses from the video, which is ideal for a YouTube short, which you want to be really fast paced. Now, all I need to do is change the size of the canvas for a YouTube short. And I can do that by just going to the drop down menu like so. I can also adjust the framing so Elon is in the center. And finally, I'm going to generate some automatic subtitles, which are pretty much essential for any YouTube short. And I can customize these with an animated preset. I could change the color, change the font. So there we have it. That is our first YouTube short ready to go. And we can now use this as a blueprint to make even more of them based on more sections from that transcript. In fact, we can easily make four more of these just based on those chat GPT recommendations. We can also make different variations on this style. I can use Veed's built-in audio library to create five clips with background music. You can use the built-in stock footage library to make five more clips with layered footage over the top of what's being said. And another way to create some really engaging YouTube shorts is by starting with one of Veed's animated templates. When you're starting a new project, select use template on the left hand side, filter by size for portrait. And as you can see, there are lots of different options here. So you can just look through and choose one that you like for your video idea, open it up in the editor, and now we can start to customize it. You can replace and edit anything you see in the timeline. So I can click on the example video here and replace it with my podcast or my recorded video. Or again, I can just use stock footage if I don't have anything of my own. I can resize the image slightly so it looks good. I can replace the text at the top of the screen. And of course, I can add those animated subtitles. So we can very easily make at least five more videos based on templates and I think they look really good. But what about some more original videos? Well, you can also make a video from scratch by using Veed's text to speech tool. But first, we need a script. What are 10 facts that most people don't know about artificial intelligence? So by using this prompt, ChatGPT has given me 10 ideas that I can use for videos. And that's already saved me a ton of time researching. Let's use this first answer about how AI dates back to the 1950s. And all I'm going to do is copy that and we'll now add in a new prompt. Write me a fast paced TikTok script with voiceover based on this fact. And I'll paste the fact in there and it's off. There you go. ChatGPT is now writing a script automatically.
Now, ChatGPT is based on an internet snapshot from 2021, and that's why I've prompted it to give me a TikTok script rather than a YouTube short, but they are basically the same style and structure. And I would always recommend making your own edits to any AI generated script, but this one right here has some pretty good bits. So now we can head back over to Veed to make the actual video. Select blank canvas, change the aspect ratio to portrait, and I'm now gonna add an AI voiceover by going over to the audio tab, select text to speech, and now I just need to choose a language and voice style from the options in these drop down menus. And all I need to do now is copy the first line of my script from ChatGPT and paste it over into Veed. And when I hit add to project, you can see that the blue voiceover is now sitting down in the timeline. So now I just need to go through my script line by line and paste it into the voice generator. And once it's all there, I can cover it with some stock footage. I can add some background music. And again, we still have nine more ideas from ChatGPT. So there's at least four more that we can make good videos from. But one thing that you do need to bear in mind if you're thinking of basing your whole channel around this style of video is that YouTube's most recent terms of service says you can't monetize text to speech. But luckily you can make very similar videos by using your own voice. Generate some more ideas from ChatGPT, write a new script and back in Veed, all you need to do is go to the audio tab, select voiceover and you can record your voice directly into the timeline by pressing that record button. And again, just add some relevant stock footage over the top and add some automatic subtitles, which is easily another five videos. And you can also upload these to TikTok and Instagram as well. Now, if you've ever wondered if you can generate clickable YouTube thumbnails using AI, you should definitely check out this video next and I'll see you guys in the next one.